Hi everybody, welcome to another 10 minute tip with me, Micah Hoffman from the OSINT Curious Project. Today I'm going to show you how to use source code comments and other source code disabled functions to find interesting places on websites for open source intelligence purposes. Let's take a look at some fun type of uh, Easter eggs that are hidden in some websites. This is smule or smule, not sure how to actually uh, say that word, but um, let's go ahead and look at the source code. To do that, I'm going to use the developer tools, which here in Chrome are in uh, the little snowman menu, more tools, and you probably can't see this. There's a developer tools thing, or you can hit the F12 key. Now your developer tools might be on the side of your browser. I'm going to go ahead and you can change that by clicking on the little snowman here and clicking bottom or whatever. I've customized mine for my purposes. Let's take a look at the elements here of the, the page. This is the page source. And we see here we've got this header section. When you increase or expand the header section, you see this little ASCII art here. Isn't that cool? Yeah, some places put it in there and they say, do you like building grade stuff? Check out our job postings. Um, other places have similar types of content. Uh, let's take a look at Keybase. Again, F12 to bring up our developer tools. And right there in the document has HTML source and HTML comments. Keybase, crypto for everyone, because no one we, ever, we know ever seems to have a public key. Ain't that the truth? Uh, these types of kind of hidden Easter eggs are, are fun to see, and, and it's neat because some places will put job offers and things into the source code saying, if you are interested enough in looking at this code, then you're somebody that we want to work for us. Let's see an example of this in Flickr. This is the Flickr website, again, hitting F12 bringing up this content now i'm going to go ahead and expand the heading and we already see some ascii art here right here's Flickr. there's the ascii art that's kind of cool but right below it it says you're reading we're hiring cool let's take the that string and see if we can find other sites out there that have that exact same string content so you're reading we're hiring Let's go to our old friend census.io and check it out. Now, census does look in the source code of web pages. It uh, index allows you to search for that content as well. I'm just going to go ahead and type a very simple quote. You're reading. We're hiring. Let's just take on the, the punctuation now. Let's just make sure you're reading. We're hiring. All right. So we're going to just search for that. Now, by default, Census looks for this content in IPv4 hosts. And it might be there, but we really want to tell it to look at websites. And sure enough, we've got six websites here that have that string. You're reading, we're hiring. Now, some of them we expect, like Flickr.com and Flickr.net, Flickr Flickrpro.com. Those are expected. But we have some other ones here, like Permission.io and this one at the bottom that are more interesting it doesn't necessarily mean that they're related um, that this site owns these other sites but what we're looking for is that string within these other sites so let's check it out let's go to permission.io permission.io we bring it up all right it allows you to grant permission for marketers to advertise yay f12 and here let's see in the heading Let's just scroll down. Let's do a find. Where your oh, there it is. Your reading, we're hiring. Now you notice the the punctuation is different here. We have a comma here instead of the flicker period, but same sentiment and same words. Your reading, we're hiring. Cool. So this site might be somehow related to Flickr. It might not be. We can look for other HTML source code content and in uh, census and other tools to help us understand what other sites have that specific content. But there's other things inside of these pages that you might not necessarily know unless you're looking at the content uh, of the source code here. For instance, let's just scroll down a little bit. 
You see style, you see a body. Let's see, change the header, remove the, change, ah, expand the header. And what we've got is this, see this uh, HTML commented out section here, this angle bracket, uh, exclamation point, exclamation point, dash, dash. That says everything else here, I want you to go ahead and comment out unless, until you see this double dash angle bracket here. And this functionality is commented out. Now, if we look here, what this is doing is is putting in a container and then making a link to forum.permission.io. Huh. Forum permission io. I'm going to copy that. Oh. Hmm. I am going to Oh, well, I'm going to Let's see. All right, I'm not going to copy it, but I'm going to just go ahead and remember forum.permission.io. Now, let's search this page on in the rendered portion we don't have the word forum in here sometimes we might see the links here or whatever i don't see any place where they talk about their forum here we've discovered it because they have put it into the source code that might be a future feature that's coming that they have and they aren't ready to release and when they're ready to release it they will uncomment that content and boom it'll be live or it might be something that they are deprecating and they don't want links to it on the page anymore. But in case they do want to re-enable re it, they'll leave it out there. So let's just go over here and see if we can pull up this site. Hey, we can. Cool. So we discovered uh, what I would say an unlinked resource or a hidden resource on a website just by looking at what's commented out in the code and being oh and curious, clicking on stuff trying things out here it doesn't much matter what's in this section um, but you know the fact is that we figured it out all right so uh, the lessons from this this section is one developer tools in fire in firefox they're in a little bit different place but the f12 key on most uh, systems will bring up the the developer tools bring up the developer tools look at elements and then look through it for hidden content and disabled content. All right, that's all my time today. Hope you've enjoyed this section and stay OSINT curious.